Okay, what we're going to do today is we're going to have a quick demonstration of conduction, convection, and radiation. Now, hey, that's, you don't want me to use your name when it's public. Okay, what we're going to do is we have this imaginary house, and that is the ceiling down there, and this is the floor here. And on the floor, we're going to have some imaginary heater. It's, it's going to be heating up the uh, atoms that are closer down here, and energy is going to rise somehow to the ceiling. And there's three ways it can be done. First of all, there's conduction. Now, conduction means that the atoms closer to the bottom, and if you uh, the atoms closer to the bottom will get heated up, and instead of moving the atom, the atoms start vibrating within themselves and then pass the energy on to the next atom. So you've got to start vibrating. Come on, energy. Start vibrating, you look happy, and then pass the, uh, the heat along. So the heat energy in conduction is passed along. Everybody, yeah, that's it, that's it. Be happy, be happy. Conduction is the passing along of energy. Oh, this is fantastic. This is going to look good. Look at the energy being passed along. Oh, that was that was clever. Oh, look at these people. Such energy. Oh, drop the energy. So conduction is passing the energy along until the energy is passed along to the end. More likely to happen in things like metals or liquids. Convection, on the other hand, here, I'm taking the energy all the way back, is when all of a sudden there's a particle at the floor, you'll notice that says floor, there's a particle near the floor who is nearest the heater and he gets lots of energy and goes, see you later suckers, I'm off to the top because I've got more energy than you, I'm off to the top, this is getting a long way to go, I think. And what happens is the, the ones with the most energy bounce against the ceiling and then push everybody back down one. Oh. Obviously not that hard. And it continues. The next part will bounce along. Come on. He's the one with the energy. He's carrying energy. He's going to get to the top and he goes, I'm hotter than you. So we all push down, lightly. Lightly done. Okay, keep going, Angie, you're next. Oh, that's an excited thing. And then the next, and that person shoves in at the top, at the ceiling, and the rest of us move down. Keep going, we've got a couple more to go. I knew he'd be doing Active energy, and... Now we all move one down. So the process of convection, the process of convection is slightly different to the other process of conduction. Conduction meant it had to be passed on from one particle to the next. More likely, as I said, to occur in solids and liquids, but it does happen in gases to a smaller degree. Convection, on the other hand, is the actual molecule itself getting the energy and moving and the hot air always rises, rises to the top and all the other particles are pushed down and then you get that idea called the convection current. Now the last one is radiation. Radiation is slightly different. Any volunteers? Okay, radiation is where heat is produced somewhere, mystical energy particle, and it just travels to that particle. Or it could travel to another particle. So radiation is actually where the energy itself moves, but none of the particles are involved. Example, big example in the sky, what would that be? The sun. Who said clown? Put your hand up. Um, yes, yeah, so the sun is the one that would radiate energy, and that's where we get all our energy. And it doesn't need a particle, which is handy because there's none in space. Well, not many. So that's it. Induction, convection, radiation. 